Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We provide online trainings on several latest technologies like MATLAB, Python, Raspberry Pi, Embedded System, Linux, etc. We also provide help uh, in uh, uh, BTEC, Amtower, PhD level project work. We also provide ready-made project files for BTEC and AMTEC students, and we also we also uh, we can also modify these project files as per your requirement if it needs. So, in this project video, uh, uh, project 12 video, we'll talk about fractional order PID controller for inverted pendulum, and further the parameters of this fractional order PID controller will be optimized with the help of uh, water cycle algorithm. So this is a, a kind of latest optimization algorithm which is used for tuning the parameters. Okay, so let's have uh, some brief idea about the plant and the fractional order systems. Okay, so when we talk about our inverted pendulum, so I hope uh, you may be aware about the basic system architecture uh, for that. So, in inverted pendulum, what we have a combination of two systems. So, it is a uh, it is a kind of uh, uh, system which uh, you used to carry. Uh, a kind of system uh, you may have tried in your childhood. You try to balance a stick or anything on your fingers. So, this is that particular system and our requirement is to balance a stick over it over a moving object so so the system looks like this okay so uh, here we have uh, this is the card or we can say a moving card which moves either in one directional or in multiple direction based on the system arrangement uh, which try to balance a pendulum so this is our pendulum and the deviation from this vertical line is known as the theta so the target is to m make the pendulum static in this position even if there are some disturbances or if some disturbances occur so this card should move automatically so that this pendulum comes to the mean position okay so for that we could have uh, uh, several uh, uh, moving direction so there are some actuators which uh, tries to move this moving card along with this okay so now uh, the this is the inverted pendulum description now when we talk about a fractional PID so let's have a look on the fractional PID as well so I hope you already aware about the uh, normal PID structure which is generally available so in the case of fractional PID uh, the transfer function change slightly so in this case instead of having the integer power of this integrator and derivative we have some fractional power to it so like k by s to the power lambda plus kd into s to the power mu so the lambda or mu can vary between generally uh, have we take in the range of 0 to 2 so they could have 1.5 0 0.1 0 0.2 and so on that means the fractional power similar case for mu mu can also varies between 0 to 2 so it is not necessary like you take uh, these values between 0 to 2 you can uh, ha can have the higher orders as well but generally most of the times uh, researchers include only search for only in this uh, range now the closed loop system uh, if we talk about or closed loop system architecture for this complete system it goes like this so you have certain set point here and then you have a controller that is in our case is FOPID 
and then you have a cart transfer function and then you could have some disturbances available here which can be added to the cart and then you have pendulum and the output of the pendulum is the angle uh, which is from the mean position and then there is a feedback path uh, position reading if we talk about in uh, uh, position feedback or position reading if we talk about from the hardware so this uh, this could be a sensor which will be reading the position of the pendulum from mean position like that means how much deviation has been there from the vertical position okay so this is a closed loop transfer function which we have included now uh, in our model uh, we have taken a reference from uh, a real hardware and based on that real hardware we have created the cart transfer function and the pendulum transfer function so in order to uh, give a uh, in this case in order to tune this FOPID this set point has been set to zero because we want the deviation to be zero so our set point is zero and a impulse disturbance have been applied to it okay so it is like uh, uh, we could have uh, the set point position and our requirement will be like uh, the output should reach to the zero as soon as possible okay so that uh, this theta the deviation from the mean position is zero so as soon as some disturbances is applied uh, like impulse disturbance is applied so it should go and come back to its mean position so this is the work of this uh, fractional order PID to try to balance the pendulum as soon as possible okay so I hope uh, further uh, now coming to the optimization part uh, in optimization one of the uh, critical thing is the objective function like what objective function you are using or as the cost function which uh, are which you are trying to minimize through any optimization algorithm so in this case uh, we have used this ITA cost function so it is simple the integral of absolute value of error into time into DT okay and then uh, this error is this point I hope it is already known to you so from here we have calculated the error and we have calculated the IT and using this uh, WCA algorithm which is uh, water cycle uh, algorithm uh, with this WCA we have minimized this function value right in order to obtain the uh, exact values of the parameters of the fractional order PID so now let's demonstrate this project files which we have created for you so if you need this project file you can directly contact us at uh, jcbrlabs at gmail.com or you can uh, contact us through our website now let's demonstrate the video further this uh, okay uh, let's see so this is the model which we have created here we have card transfer function this is pendulum transfer function this is the IT block uh, the parameter have been uh, uh, are not shown here because it is a demonstrative video uh, okay and then we have written a IT cost function in MATLAB which is calculating the IT so what exactly is happening this uh, cost function runs this model and from here it calculates the IT and then that value goes back to into cost function okay and there is a, a WCA file which is used to optimize all these parameters so you just have to run this file and it will start optimizing itself okay so let's go to theta and let's see how it is optimizing itself with our two three points which we can check okay so we can increase the width apply and then okay. okay so we have run this uh, algorithm for 10 iterations only so based on your requirement you can vary further we are searching the parameters between 0 to 200 range okay so let's run it 
if there is no error it starts creating uh, optimizing a FOP ID and yeah it starts it has started working now it is trying to optimize it it will take some time okay let's wait for it for some duration till it gets optimized yes. So it will start sending you the values of the each iteration, the maximum value obtained in each iteration. So slowly it is converging to the requirement. Uh, for the uh, it will run faster if we can close this window so let's try we are closing the window and it will take time to show the effect of changes which we have made yeah files have closed now this is the uh, minimum function value for each iterations so for iteration one two and three it will run Uh, I think these iterations are not clearly visible the function minimum value clearly not visible due to this um, uh, message but it will be clear afterwards So if you want to get more optimized or more you want to minimize this function value more <coughs> so you can run uh, this uh, uh, code for uh, higher number of iterations okay. so the optimization will be better so we have taken only 10 iteration due to was we uh, due to just for the sake of the demonstration Okay, last iteration is going on. Yep. So iteration is done. This is the uh, number of iteration function value graph, and the final result, optimized result, we will we can see uh, at here. Okay, so it has optimized uh, with the values so uh, it is coming to the mean value after some time so you can get this value based on further uh, if you keep on increasing the number of iterations value you uh, can further improve
the results okay so finally again if you want uh, this code or the files of this code you can uh, contact us at uh, uh, jcvrlabs.org or or you can directly send us a mail at uh, jcbrlabs at gmail.com further we can also also provide support in uh, we also provide support in projects related to btech mtech or phd levels and we can also modify this model or this project files uh, as per your requirement so i hope you enjoyed this video and so that's it for this video thank you